guys, Jen here from Ain't and Such and Such and Be Scented. I'm hi. doing. Hi. Noah says hi. I'm doing my first testing video in a long, long time. So I'm really excited. We're going to be uh, doing the heat transfer method. Little one pound batch. To see how this fragrance does. Um, got my liquid oils in the back. These are just my hard oils. I'm going to be testing the first one called Strawberry and Musk. Oh my goodness, does it smell fantastic out of the bottle. All the scents I'm testing today smell really, really, really good. I got a huge um, sample order in for my supplier. So... I have a ton of scents that smell really good. A few of them that I'm like, eh, you know, about. So I doubt I'll be testing those. <clears throat> you know, sometimes, I mean, there's just some scents that are just gross. So, you know, I have one that, uh, it reminds me of nail polish remover. And I'm like, oh, that's just terrible. Who would want your soap to smell like that? Nail polish remover? No thanks. So anyways, as you can see, you guys watched me add my oil, my water in there. We've been on the video for almost two minutes, minute and 45 seconds, and everything is just about completely melted. I hear a lot of times people um, curious as to why it takes there so long. I don't know unless most of your recipe is hard oils or um, you're letting your lye solution cool too much. You know, there are a lot of factors. You just have to tweak it to what works for you. Now, this is a super strong stick blender, so I'm not going to stick blend a whole lot. This is just the liquid oils. It has my clay and oatmeal on the bottom. So we want to get that mixed in well. It's always is pretty full. Now with the testing, of course, I'll hand stir the fragrance in, see how it does. Uh, we'll leave part of it uncolored to um, see if it discolors. And I also have some new colors to test out also. I may say I may throw some of those in here. Uh, like one at a time. Uh, I do take notes and have a chart of how everything performs. Alright, that's emulsified. Here's my coconut milk. Just a little bit. It's only 5% of my recipe. So in this little of a batch, it's just a tiny amount. But it adds up. So we're at a nice light trace. Is there a fragrance out here? Oh. oh, it smells so good. It's really clear. And if some strawberry fragrance is this color, Depends on if they have that vanilla note in them. That one's really clear, you know, but that's also can be deceiving. No, uh, hold on, guys. Okay, okay, so that was a minute. So, so, so far, so good. All right, now. Let me, where are my sample colors? Oh gosh, hold on. 
am a bit disorganized today. So you guys all know that I carry uh, a lot of Crafter's Choice items. So I'm thinking about, we have a ton of our own colors, our own micas, obviously, and neons. But I'm thinking about carrying some of theirs. So this is a strawberry. I have two of this pink. And one, this one's... Alright. There's a purple. I think I'm going to do just a swirl with one pink. It's a neon coral and cocktail. Still doing fantastic. There was no racing. And when you have these little tiny sample bags, you don't want to mix it in a whole lot of soap because it's not a lot of color. So you want to do it in a small amount like this to get the best idea of what the color is going to look like. I may add a smidgen more um, oil. And then the rest, I'll leave um, uncolored, just the way it is. She's all right. Woo wee. That's a pretty color. I'm gonna give this a stir. So that now the fragrance, you know, has been stick blended in this part. As you can see, it's still nice and loose. Behave beautifully. So yay on that. like to keep part of it uncolored so we can see how much it discolors if any. This really really smells good. I haven't done sample soaps or tester soaps in a coon's age, it feels like. Athena, leave the cat alone. Uh-oh, hold on. Okay. She seems to think sometimes that the cat is her true toy. And they are not. But she seems to think they are. All right, these gloves are just terrible. They were given to me. You know, they were free. This is why I'm wearing them. But I hate them. <laughs> They're humongous. I wear a medium glove, and these are an extra large. Do one side a mostly pink for the most part. Okay. 
It feels so funny making such a small batch of soap. <laughs> There we go. I'm going to put this in the oven to out of harm's way. And we'll bring you back when we cut it. Hi. All right, guys. We are back to cut the first soap. And it smells awesome. It was a little rough getting it out of the mold. It, I, it just wasn't quite ready, but I want to go ahead and get it cut. So it's okay. I can trim it up. No big deal. <clears throat> so I will cut just a little end piece off. Little piece off. Mm-hmm. Just a smidgen. Ooh, how pretty is that? It, uh, you can I tell it's smell. discoloring. Mm, the smells good. Um, fragrance, of course, behaved beautifully. Uh, so did the color. Uh, it's a beautiful color. So, um, that's a plus. What? Look at that. How pretty. Oh, sorry. I really like it. But it is discoloring. I'll have to check with the supplier and see how much vanillin is in the soap. Or in the, the fragrance. That's the last part. And then, of course, I will update the website and all that good stuff, you know, if it discolors um, a ton or exactly how much it discolors. Thank you. Let's cut these into some samples. This one's really little, but that's okay. It's a sample. How tall was that? I know. Say thank you all for watching. Thank you. Thank you for all watching. Say see you next time. See you next time.